Hey, how's everybody doing? Mars Sky Stocks back at it again. Uh, I'm just giving you an update pretty much on uh, the SPY update. Um, as you all know, I am also swinging Microsoft and Square. But we'll talk about uh, SPY. So as you all know, I am in SPY. I am looking for a 280 spot within, by I think, March 15th. Hopefully we can push towards that area by March 15th, but I think we'll get it before there if everything goes as planned. So with SPY, the reason why I think that we can possibly push and the reason why I took the trade is because we held some key support levels. Um, as for today, um, I was pretty much was watching SPY and I was trying to trade it intraday um, on the scalp. Uh, today it pretty much pulled right into this 270.36 area. To me, I think that is a key support area as well. It's also a range that I'm now looking at. So the range that I'm looking at on SPY now is 270.36, which is the bottom of the range, and uh, 272.36, which is the top of the range. Um, pretty much today I was pretty much looking for a push into the 271.30. Um, I didn't get it during market hours, which is all right. So the uh, lot of calls that I did try to push into that 271.30 ended up worthless, but I did make a nice little change on the puts today. So as far as that, the reason why I love this 270.36 level, and I will probably go back with you so that you can see why, is because that is a level, once we broke it, we got a nice little push out of so ever since we got that nice little push, I've always been watching that level and wanted to see if the market just wanted to come back and test that breakout level or if we was going to get rejected and not be, I mean, not that level, not be able to hold and fail. And then we probably get a nice pullback into the uptrend, the uh, bigger time uptrend. So if you can look here, 270.36 broke. We pushed out nice push um once we broke that level and that's what i've been watching that's why 270.36 to me is a key level and i've been watching that on the pullback so um everybody who i pretty much talk to during the day that's a key level that i keep calling out which is that 270.36 now if we break that level of course i'll be looking at the bottom of the range at that point will be 270.36 and that 268.49 as you can see when we did break it we pulled right into that level. It held, and that was the bounce. So to me, that was the bottom range. Um, again, held, and then we pushed right into the top of that range, which is that. So that's why um, normally when I'm looking at range, those are plays that I look for. It's because I typically go back and look at how the stock reacted within those range. So if I do buy it, I typically would like to hold it and try to push into the top of the range. So that's what I was looking on SPY today. So if you look here, we couldn't hold this 271.30 spot um, when market opened. Once I noticed that, I grabbed some puts, 270 puts. Um, they went up a little bit, made a nice little change on it. Um, we got the 270.36 is when I covered, and then I tried to bounce it. I was looking for a bounce on this downtrend break, or I, I even took, actually, to be honest with you, I took some um off of this right here we got the bounce i had a tight stop on it it pulled back down on me so once it pulled i actually was leaving to go get coffee and i was like hey i'll be back heading out to get some coffee um i just have tight stops i mean right when i got into the car the stop my stops was triggered i got alert to my phone i was like damn what the hell happened so i reached out to a couple of traders and i was asking them, hey where's apple did apple break a key level and I think the level I was asking them on Apple was, did Apple take out, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like 169.22 ish or something like that. I asked everybody and it was like, nah, it still is above it. So I jumped back then to the uh, 271.50 calls. And I was like, hey, well, if Apple holds that level, I think we'll kind of get a bounce and try to push towards the 270.30 level. Um, while I was out getting coffee and stuff, it did do a little push. Um, by the time I came back, was back down again, and I was just stuck in those 270, 130, I mean, 50 calls today. Um, never got the push that I was looking for during market hours. It was a lotto, so they went worthless. Oh, well. Um, it happens. And then I come in here to do the video, and guess what happens? Look who, where it is. 270, 130. 
I mean, it is what it is. It happens. So my 270 50 lotto calls for today were worth this. It is what it is. You can't win them all. But I am in the 281 calls for uh, March 15th. Now, the reason why I like those so much is um, if, you, if you're if you seeing all these lines, like this line right here that you're looking at that's coming down right here, that's that's the overall trend that I was looking at. And, and when we reclaimed that today, I really felt great about um, my uh, 281 calls. Reason why. Um, today, when we pulled back down, I think this pull down was more of a test of that breakout um, that we got off that gap up, right? We tested it. We couldn't come down, and it pretty much held all day today, and that's what I was looking. I wanted to see if we can hold this level, and that's why 270.36 was so big to me. Once I noticed us holding that, that pretty much confirmed our breakout of that little downtrend that we was in for the past, what, three days? Um, so I think from Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of last week, we pretty much was down. Friday, um, we held key levels Friday, and then we got a nice little bounce right into close, which today we wake up with a nice gap up. We break out of that little downtrend that we was in off of those three days, and now we're sitting just above that downtrend. So to me personally, I think today's gap up, we pull back down, tested that downtrend, and we held today, and then that's why we got a nice little rally towards close again. Um, so what I'm looking for is hopefully we can hold this overnight um, if everything goes as planned, we hold this level overnight, right? We gap up or something. If we do gap up, hopefully we can take out, uh, let's look at what was today's peak. Let's look, let's, let's mark this spot right here. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and mark it now. Bingo. Edit. So I know what I'm looking for. Right. So what, what I'll be looking for is if we do gap up, hopefully we can gap up and take out that 271.90 level. And if we do, then I'll be looking for a push into that 272.35 level. Would be my thought frame for tomorrow and um, and see how that plays out. So with that being said, that's what I'll look for. And I think once we do push, um, I think we'll get the top of the range. Like I said, 270, 30, 270.36 is the bottom of the range. And that 272.35 is the top of the range. So right now, it's just two levels right now stopping us from taking out that top range. And that's what I'll be looking for. Once we take that out, we got a little trend here to take out. And then at that point, I think we can possibly push to 274.08. Um, now, if we hit the 274.08... I think that's when we're off and running, and we can get a nice little decent push towards that 281.15 area. So that's why I got the 281 calls for 315. Just bought myself some time just in case something came out. We all know we have the uh, China thing going on. Um, we uh, don't know about the minutes, Fed minutes, all that stuff can play a role in it. So with that being said, I bought myself time. And I also looked into the contracts around that area and I seen a nice little volume. So it's another reason why I parked myself right there and took those contracts as well. So on that swing, that's why I'm in those 281 uh, March 15 uh, calls. Um, I also just trying to be uh, a little greedy, I did grab the 285s as well um, today because I also liked how it held up. So we'll see how those play out as well, um, and I'll see what I can get out of it. Now, again, I will be having tight, tight stops. We all know I keep saying the same thing. Um, my, my max, if this thing gets anywhere near or below 269.47, more than likely I will cut the swing off and um, take the remainder of my money that's on the table. So that's how I will be playing um, SPY, and that's my thoughts behind SPY, because I know I had a couple of people reach out, ask me why am I swinging SPY, and what's, make, what's making me like SPY. So to me personally, off the bottom, we're still holding that nice little trend to the upside. Yes, we did test it. Um, on the test, we held um, on the pullback. So therefore, now I want to see if we can pop and start pushing towards 
that 274 level and if so it'll be a plus for us and um we are popping as you can see while we're talking we are now sitting at 271.60 so 271.90 will be in the cards for tomorrow um and and that's my thought again anything can happen overnight so don't hold me to it um this is just me trading the technicals trying to play the technicals the best that i can off of what i have in front of me people may think different that's fine um i just like to try to trade what's in front of me and go off my charts um i try to keep the noise out uh to help me better gauge on how i want to play any ticker that's sitting in front of me so that's just my thoughts on the market and that's why i'm looking for a 281 by march uh 15th again guys if you have any comments leave it below um if you like what you're hearing give it a thumbs up um if you really like what you're hearing please subscribe to the channel um again this is mark scott stocks and i'm out